For a great glass of beer, you need the right level of carbonation. Now, to begin using the GMA CO2 testing device, the first step is to attach your hose to the input that is closest to this inlet tube where the beer goes in. And of course, you need to have a hose that properly fits your spigot on the tank. And uh, here we have clamped our narrower hose onto an adapter and then onto a wider hose. Next, you close the output valve and open the input valve. This is in the open position. And open the swivel to get the beer pouring in. And really open the output valve a little bit to release the pressure and get the beer flowing a little bit out the tube. And then notice it fills up and the goal is for it to be clear so there's no foam in the chamber. And once it's clear, you close it and then shut the input side and then shut the valve on the tank. Now you have the tank pressure here that is reading and you need to quickly open and close the output valve so that it's reduced, so the excess pressure comes out and you're just reading the, pr the pressure of the beer. Uh, as you see, it went down close to zero. And the next step is to uh, take the pump and lift it out all the way, twice, and down quickly. And it's often good idea to do it a third time just to make sure you've reached the maximum pressure level of the beer present in the chamber. All right, now you can read that the pressure gauge shows 1.4 bar and the temperature range shows 5 degrees Celsius. Now we look to the nomogram on the bottom of the device and at five degrees we move the five degree mark here to 1.4 bar as you can see there matching those two up and then we look above to see that it's 6.4 grams per liter of CO2 that amount divided by 10 uh, tells you you have 0.64% CO2 in the beer. All right, so now having taken the measurement successfully, you want to first open the inlet valve, understanding that there is pressure still in this hose. Next, you open the outlet valve to begin draining the beer. And then you take the hose off of the spigot and simply raise it up and turn the device upside down to drain the last of the beer out of the chamber. And you can go ahead and go straight. Once you get all the beer out, you can go straight to the next tank if you want to take a reading on another tank or if you're done for the day, you can rinse it out with water. Now, uh, the cleaning of the one cube GMA CO2 tester is very simple. And what you're doing is rinsing out the chamber and the pump. So, well, using the sling, put the device here and uh, connect. First of all, you open up both the input and the output valves to freely allow water to go in and out of the device. And connect the water line to the input hose.
first. Making sure that's secure. And then ready to rinse it out. And you need to lift the pump all the way up and press it down two times to wash the pump. Connect the water input line. And then raise the input water line above the device and turn the device upside down and simply drain the rest of the water out.